once and for all. What exactly is happening to me? That's a question that I really, really need an answer to. Because I remember doing so many things that ordinarily I wouldn't do. They reflect back to me as dreams. But in fact, they aren't dreams of realities. And one of such is, can you imagine I, Pascal Ezi, would turn against my beloved mother and reward tests and appearance with hatred. People who, who helped me heal my wounded heart. And then I, I, I fell in love with your devilish mother and, and abandoned your father who, who, who was so good to me, who I, who I used to fall back on, a, a man who has God in him. Adora, listen. I do not doubt the fact that we love each other. I, I, I don't doubt that fact. But, but I swear that there are things you know about that I do not, I do not know of. Probably things very, very mysterious. So tell me. Tell me why I do things and I do not know why or when I did them. Tell me. Honey, there are things my mother and I have. And I've already made up my mind to reveal them to you before you arrived home from work. <laughs> Honey, honestly, I remember vividly going to the prayer house, which was a collective decision of you and I. And I also remembered leaving the mission and went home to my mother. But <laughs> told a lot of evils in collaboration with my mother. <laughs> Things my mother asked me to do, and I don't have any willpower to resist them. <laughs> To cook for you. She also gave me another one. To use on Tessa. To cause a detective part of her. And honestly, I don't know when I did them. <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive me. Please forgive me. My mother must surely pay. She must surely pay back for her evil deeds. And the mercy of God shall not be her portion. But please forgive me. Forgive me.
rascal or whatever you call yourself. You have the effort to talk to me like that on the phone after I've given my daughter to enjoy. You think you have the chance now to talk to me anyhow? And you, you dare to drop the phone? Hey, Adora, you. That wonders the session of that. After my sufferings for you. Are you dumb? I'm talking to you. Mama, don't talk to my husband like that. What did you say? I said, don't talk to my husband like that. You must be crazy. Now that's enough. You will not have a husband if I don't say that's enough. Now sit down, my friend. Sit down. What? Get out of my house. You must be cruel. Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Disgraced and embarrassed. Just look at me. My jewelries were cut. My clothes done. I was beaten like a thief by, by my so-called son-in-law. I am disappointed all of me. Calm down, woman. Calm down. The spirit have had you. They had better do. They had better do on me. Because Pascal, that idiot, he must pay for daring to lay his hands on me. I've had one beating too many from him. He has to pay. He must pay. Calm down. Let me go. Eh? The daughter and the woman. It's not the fault. Why the water that passed through the pump is not the fault that have the water? The voodoo. The switch of my land. Get me. Get me and put me through. Mm. Open now. Open. A monkey jumped from one street to another street without falling. Mm. <laughs> Do you hear that? What? <laughs> what? <laughs>
I get you. Adora! Is this bread? Come and see. Ah, very nice.
Mama. Yes. It's a thing of joy that the wicked woman, my mother, finally lost the battle. God. Hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you so much. Father Lord, I thank you. At last. And I've taken a decision. And my decision is not out of fear or favor. I want to hands off Pascal and his wife to live their lives the way they want. Papa Dora, how can you take such a decision on your own? I don't mean to annoy anyone, Pascal. Adora, Tessa, circumstances pushed us into this situation. I want the three of us to live together as husband and wives. My, I, 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 I love you both. I, I don't think I can manage without you two now. Son, do you realize what you have just said? Yes, A man with two wives. Mama, what do you have? Just feel free, okay? Feel free. I now want you to choose between Adora and Tessa, whom I should stay with. Uh, no, Mama, Mama, Mama. Just do it openly here. Make your decision. You put me on a crossroads. I don't know what to say again. I don't know what to say. Um. <clears throat> Mama, yes. I am. Um, I am already in love with your family. If only Adora here will accept me back. Tessa! I am ready to be your son's wife again. Tessa! I'm so happy! Oh, I'm so happy. Created with it, your kind of mind. I think this one will be a lovely place to live. I mean, you are stay. welcome. <laughs> Don't just say anything. Let me let me partake in this. You know what? The doctor said that my grandchild is in a good condition of health. <laughs> So we have um, one house, mm -hmm. one husband, mm -hmm. and one great family. Yeah. <laughs> 